hey you guys welcome to my channel so okay first of all look at the hair i'm really liking this this whole look y'all so the video that i posted about your 30 sucking it went really well i absolutely love the conversation i try my best to respond back to all of you guys i realize i love putting videos out like that it's a little chaotic a little all over the place i wanted to just share with y'all things that i actually learned in my 30s before i get started i would love to know something that you've learned in your 30s and beyond drop it down in the comments you know let's just share our knowledge so first thing that i wrote and that i am experiencing 100 percent that has me very very uneasy these days nothing stays the same so appreciate where you are if it's in a great spot and also if you're not just know that things will change for the better i always knew change happens but with certain things i just didn't expect them to come so suddenly and also when i wasn't ready i was kind Kind of doing things on my own time and the reality is things are going to change whether you're ready or whether you're not let's just say if you are in a great spot at work use it to your, your advantage and i hate when people say never get too comfortable but that's the truth like never get too comfortable with things because things can change in an instant also on the flip side if you're looking for a job or whatever the case may be and you're down and out down on your luck i know for a that, that it may not look good right now, things will not always stay the same. I never thought in a million years I would move from Houston, Texas to <laughs> Connecticut, you guys. Me and Darren have been open to moving to Hawaii at one point we wanted to go. We wanted to go just kind of anywhere, Arizona, we thought about it. We were definitely up for not staying in Houston, not staying in Texas. Connecticut was definitely not on our list, but here we are. And it's been an adventure, it's been a journey. So just keep that in mind that nothing stays the same. So number two, you guys, I talked about this a little bit um, in my last video when it comes to finances. You have to have a plan with money. You cannot just wing it with money. You need a budget. You need savings. You need an emergency stash. It really doesn't matter how much you're making. It doesn't matter if you're bringing home $2,000 a month, you guys, or if you're bringing home $20,000. You can't just wing it. You can't just go every single month just doing whatever and not being prepared for life. That is something that I have definitely learned and I am learning right now. Just know where you are putting your money, where it's going every single month. If you are a wife and you don't handle the finances or you're a stay-at-home mom, you don't handle the finances, you need to be, basically. You need to be. I was once that mom that was like, well, I'm just a stay-at-home mom. I'll let him do whatever with the money. Absolutely not. Don't do that. You guys are a team. You guys need to both have an idea of what's going on. You guys need to both be on the same page. You can't just let someone else handle it and let them wing it with the money as well. The third thing that I've learned, you guys, your peace and having a relationship with the Lord, but your peace is probably the most important thing. Anything that is disrupting your peace, y'all, is never worth it. It's absolutely never worth it. Without peace, you don't sleep at night. You can't sleep at night. You're constantly worried. You're stressed. I'd give up so much stuff to have peace in my life right now. That doesn't mean I'm saying that my life is chaotic. That doesn't mean that my life is horrible. But there are certain things that have stressed me out, that are stressing me out. Things that I could have avoided, but I didn't because I'm human. But life is just not peaceful at this point. And I am basically on a journey to not necessarily become debt free, not necessarily become a minimalist, not necessarily become those kind of things. I'm on a journey for peace, you guys. I just want to wake up and just feel like the weight of the world is just not on my shoulders. Hopefully soon that will happen. Number five, you guys, get you a good tax person. Get you somebody that know that knows what they're doing, especially if you run a business. Especially if you have a lot of stuff going on. I don't know what else to say. Get you somebody that's reliable, reputable. We literally just experienced an amazing tax preparer. Um, our previous one was horrible. Horrible. It makes a world of a difference. Yeah, that's all I can say on that, y'all. Just listen to me, please. Number five is, and I wrote here because it is the truth, Ruth. Nobody, 
nobody's coming to save you. Whatever mess you're in, you're in it probably because you put yourself in it. So you need to get yourself out of it. Yes, you need to pray on it. You need to have faith, but you also got to put in the work. It may be people coming to help you out. It may be someone coming to offer a little bit of relief. And those are blessings, you guys. But no one is actually coming to save you and pull you out of your mess. You gotta pull yourself out of it. And it's gonna suck. And it's gonna hurt. There will be days when you think, I'm not even pulling myself out. I'm getting further and further in my mess. But the second that you realize that no one's coming to save you and you gotta save yourself, you gotta save your family, you are already coming up. The more you you sit there and wallow and feel sorry and you're just hoping for this family member to help you out or that family member if they want to they can but they got their own problems they got their own stuff going on they're not really sitting here waiting to see what they can do for you now y'all I've actually never been a person like this I've never been a person thinking that someone's just gonna fix my mess for me I've never been that way I think that's one of my best qualities is that I may be down and out, but it doesn't take too much for me to get myself back up and start putting one foot in front of the other. I'm not saying that you're in this by yourself, but you kind of are, and that's okay. Sometimes it just needs to be just you figuring out. Your struggles right now could be your testimony later. And number six, you guys, last but not least, everybody out here faking it. Everybody is out here faking it until they make it. So don't ever think that everyone has it together. Y'all, I think I'm pretty good at faking it. I can put a smile on my face like nothing's going on on the inside, which is not the best thing to do, but there are plenty other people like that as well. So don't ever be envious because you really, really don't know what's really happening in their lives. We really never know. I, and I say this even with your closest friends or your best friends or your you know closest relatives we really never know what's going on in someone's life just know that we all out here struggling we all don't have a clue i can get very envious of what i see people that they have on social media and what i lack you know the comparison is the thief of joy we already know this and yet we still compare because we're just, we're human you know but the reality is you know people post what they want you to see you just really never know what's going on in someone's life so so yeah you guys i know i didn't go super in depth but i didn't want to make this video super long i just wanted to give you guys just just stuff to think about. I would love to hear something that you've learned. Please drop it below so that we all get a little bit more knowledge. So yeah, that is it, you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will talk to you guys in my next video. Bye. If somebody's heaven, tell me who.